Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to mix things up a little bit and go over my favorite UFC 291 betting picks, Poirier versus Gaethje 2. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am a huge fan of the UFC and MMA, and every Saturday I find myself betting on these fights. Now, I have a complete guide here that I will link to in the description below that lays out each pick, all the different odds, even has a screenshot tutorial on how to bet on UFC fights if you're new to this. Um, some FAQs, and just everything that you would want to know about betting on UFC. If you are looking to stream UFC events, I also have a complete guide here that talks about all of the verified options that you can use to watch UFC events. So guys, make sure to check out that link in the description below. And while there are dozens of sports books available for betting on UFC, my preferred bookie of choice is my bookie. With our special link in the description below, you can get all of these great welcome bonuses, including a 50% sports welcome bonus. And guys, my bookie always has updated odds. Uh, it even has some great props here, whether it's over, under, money line. Um, I just personally use my bookie for all of my UFC bets. Now diving right into my best UFC 291 bets. Guys, I'm only going to go over the main card as I don't want to waste time going over every single prelim as there are several other videos that you can find on YouTube for that. So starting with the main card here, we're going to go over Michael Chiesa versus Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. Now guys, I'm a pretty big fan of Kevin Holland. He is coming off a win here um, against Ponza Nibio by TKO. Um, he did lose his previous two before that to Steven Wonderboy Thompson and then of course Kamzat Chumayev in the first round. Um, he is a slight favorite here at minus 145, and I think that's a pretty good grab to get Holland here. Uh, Michael Chiesa, he is coming off a two-fight losing streak. Um, you know, while it is to Sean Brady in his last fight, um, I just, I don't know. He's got no striking, guys. Uh, Michael Chiesa, 18-6. and six. Um, Kevin Holland, 24-9. Guys, my pick here is Kevin Holland money line. All right, guys, the next matchup is between Tony Ferguson, what a legend, and Bobby Green. Uh, now, this one is pretty one-sided here, in my opinion. Bobby Green coming in at minus 375. Um, personally, guys, I would not touch the money line when it's above minus 200 is kind of my rule of thumb. Um, but I just don't see how Bobby Green loses this fight. I mean, just looking at the previous fight history, Tony Ferguson, I believe, has lost his last five. You know, he had that nasty knockout loss against Michael Chandler. He's coming off a loss against Nate Diaz. Um, he came off a loss against Darush and then also Charles Oliveira and Justin Gaethje. Again, some great competition there. I just don't see how he gets it done against Bobby Green. Bobby Green is coming off a loss against Drew Dober. He lost to Islam Makachev. Um, and also, he, he was in a no contest in his last fight against Gordon. Um Guys, I just, I don't know. I just feel like Bobby Green is going gonna, is gonna to wipe Tony Ferguson here, um, and it probably will be the farewell fight for Tony Ferguson. So the way I would play this one on my bookie personally, um, I would probably go over under on this fight. So it's looks like minus 140 over 2.5. I'd probably go the plus 110 here at under 2.5. I think Bobby Green puts Tony Ferguson away. Um, so, guys, that's how I would bet Tony Ferguson versus Bobby Green. All right, guys, for the next matchup, we have Michelle Pereja versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Guys, I am a fan of Steven Thompson as well. I love his stand-up game. He is a, has a karate background. I love his kicks if you watch some of his previous fights. Um, he did win against Kevin Holland in his last bout uh, towards the end of 2022. Looked great in that fight against you know a pretty rep reputable opponent in Kevin Holland. He did lose to Bilal Muhammad and Gilbert Burns before that, but that's some good competition. I won't knock him for that. Uh, Michelle Pereira, on the other hand, he is on a five-fight win streak. I do have to call that out. And over some pretty decent opponents. He doesn't have the resume that Wonderboy Thompson has. Um, he has one against Ponza Nibio, who's a decent fighter. Um, he did beat Fialho. He beat Nico Price. Um, he did win some other notable bouts here, too. Um, so looking at the odds, Stephen Thompson minus 165, uh, Pereira plus 140. 
I would go Stephen Thompson money line here, guys. I think minus 165 is a pretty good grab uh, to get Stephen Thompson the victory here. All right, guys, now we're on to the co-main event for the vacant light heavyweight UFC championship. And boy, am I excited for this one. Alex Pereja obviously coming off a loss against Israel Adesanya for the middleweight title. He now has moved up a weight class to light heavyweight and is facing Polish power and Jan Blachowicz, who just came off that draw against Angolaev. Um, guys, this is a pretty close matchup here looking at the odds. Minus 110 for Pereja and minus 120 for Jan Blachowicz. Um, you know, looking at the fight history before their last fights, Blachowicz did beat Rakish, and then he also lost to Glover Teixeira for the light heavyweight championship. Um, remember, he did beat Israel Adesanya in 2021. Obviously, that was a catchweight, so I'm not sure how much stock I put into that, to be honest. Um, Pereja, on the other hand, he did beat Adesanya, and then he also lost to Adesanya in the rematch. Um, he was pretty dominant against Sean Strickland, who's a worthy opponent. Um, and he also has some other great wins here, too, since his debut in the UFC. Guys, in my opinion, I would go with Alex Pereja here, money line. I think he gets it done um, before the bell and doesn't let it go to the judges. But let's say it does go to the judges. Um, putting my cap on here. I think Dana White wants Alex Pereja versus whether it's Sweet Dreams Jamal Hill um, or Yuri Prohaska for that light heavyweight title match. I think we've seen enough of Jan Blachowicz, and I just don't think he has the spark that Pereja has. So, guys, Alex Pereja money line is my pick. All right, guys, for the main event, we have the rematch between Dustin the Diamond Poirier versus Justin the Highlight Gaethje. Now, looking at the odds right away here, Gaethje coming in as a slight underdog at plus 125, uh, Dustin Poirier at minus 145 money line. Ugh, guys, I'm, I'm torn on this one. I could go either way. Um, they're very evenly matched. I would say, you know, Gaethje might have a slight edge on the striking. He does have a wrestling background in college, um, but Poirier is just so good all around. The striking, the striking, the wrestling, um, the defense, just everything in Poirier's game, in my opinion, is just solid. He has no holes. Um, so looking at some previous fight history, Justin Gaethje coming off that great win against Fazeev where he was the underdog. Um, so I think he's got some momentum behind him here. Um, Dustin Poirier coming off another great win against Michael Chandler. Um, he lost to you know Charles Oliveira before that, as did Gaethje. Um, but he did have those two wins against Conor McGregor uh, as well. Um, so guys, if I were going to bet this, just looking at this right now, I would probably take Dustin Poirier at minus 145 money line. Um, again, this could go either way. I'm going to check the over under here on my bookie. So my bookie, pretty similar odds here. They have Poirier at minus 153 money line. Even the over under is a tough one, guys. Over two and a half, under two and a half, both pretty even here in a five round fight. If I had to put money on this, I'd probably go the over two and a half at minus 125. I just don't think this fight, um, ends before the third round. Um, so guys, those are my picks for the UFC 291 main card. Now, if you guys were interested in my picks for the prelims, I'll quickly go over the, those here on my screenshot guide, which can be found in the description below. Um, so we have Gabriel Bonfim versus Trevin Giles. I like Trevin Giles in this one. Derek Lewis coming in as the underdog against Marcos Rogero de Lima. Give me Derek Lewis by TKO. Roman Koplov versus Claudio Ribeiro. I really liked Roman Koplov in his last fight, and I'm going to pick him here again. Jake Matthews versus Darius Flowers. I like Jake Matthews. CJ Vergara versus Vincia Salvador. I think Vincia Salvador pulls off the upset here. And then Matthew Semmelsberg versus Euros Medici. Sorry if I mispronounced that. I like Matthew Semmelsberg here to win. And then opening is Miranda Maverick versus Priscilla Kashiria. Um, I'm just going to go with Miranda Maverick here. I don't really know too much about these guys. Um, but other than that, appreciate you guys watching this video. You know, I, I look forward to releasing more UFC betting picks in the near future um, as I continue to watch all the fights. If you guys have any picks, you disagree, agree, please leave a comment below. Like, share, subscribe. Um, again, this is Bodie. Really appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope you have a great day and enjoy UFC 291 this weekend.